What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel! So, as you can probably guess from the title of this video, I am doing some beanie outfit ideas and you're probably wondering like what am I wearing? Like why does she look so casual? Well, let me just jump straight into this video and tell you this is the first outfit because let's be realistic here. This is like the OG uni outfit. I mean, at least I'm matching. Usually I don't even bother matching my like hoodie with my track pants, but I'm really vibing like an all white kind of fit. So this is the very first back to uni. Why do I keep saying back to uni? We're already in uni, we're mid, we're halfway through the semester. This is my very first uni outfit. And look at this guy. I got hip bones. I've been wanting like a pair of hip bones for absolutely ages. And I finally got a beautiful pair of these like cream colored bows ones. Look at them. They're so stunning. And they're so good as well. Thank you bows for labeling left and right. So I actually know how to wear them. They got noise cancellation. So these are my first pair of noise cancellation headphones ever in my life. And I highly recommend them. Also, they look so cool and so funky. I look like a proper, really swaggy uni student. Seriously though, this is my first uni outfit. This is what I wear chilling around the house, getting assignments done, 11.59 p.m. Whoop, she's in this. And it's really cozy, comfy, and warm. So yeah, I'm gonna start off realistic because the rest of these outfits are when I'm like mentally stable enough to dress nicely. This hoodie is from Mr. Winston. These pants are just Glatton's sweatpants. They're not a matching set. I don't know if you can tell in camera, but this one's a slight shade darker than the pants but it works i'm at home no one sees me let's go right ahead to uh, all my fancier outfits my first proper uni outfit is this one right here it's a full blue look i know like a pop of color and it's really really bright and stuff like that but i'm just thinking if i'm gonna be feeling blue about the many deadlines and assignments i have rising up i might as well reflect that in my fashion just so everyone can know you know if the bags and the eyes don't do it away it's the color code of the outfit but all jokes aside i love this top it's such a nice baby bluish color really bright really vibrant it's from culture kings it's like also really oversized like this so it's like a boyfriend tee minus the boyfriend i also got these low rise jeans they're from culture kings as well you guys know me i love a good low rise pair of jeans because they're just so comfy and then i can sit down without them having to cut into my stomach this is the fit it's getting colder and jackets are a must. I thought to complete the whole blue look, I'd get this a bright blue puffer jacket, which I really like. I mean, we can still have some fun with color. So like, this is the fit, all blue. I'm like a smith, but I kind of really like it at the same time. This is a chill outfit. We're slowly gonna build it up throughout this video, but I just thought you need to be comfy as well. Otherwise, how are you supposed to sit through like three hours of lecture content or something? Okay, let's go to the next outfit. In this next outfit, I'm toning it down a wee bit and I've just got this white bandeau top on from Glasson, same jeans from Culture Kings and this chunky knitted cardigan from Cotton On. Cotton On is seriously popping off with their stuff lately and I love it. It's actually so soft, this cardigan thing. I mean, look at it, look at that detail. It's not scratchy and it's so nice and warm and it's got little mini pockets, which is so cute. This is a really nice bright kind of outfit for uni and it's good for like the autumn season when it's not too cold and it's not too hot so you can always shed the layers if you need to love this one following the whole knit trend i've got this super cute sweater it's like a pink and red so sweet from daisy the label it's really nice and warm it's also like on the chunky side like this it's also really comfy can you tell that comfort is one of the key points of this video Pro tip guys, if you're going to be wearing these sweaters and like the one I showed you before, always wear a t-shirt or some kind of top under them because you don't want to make the mistake of getting so hot that you like obviously want to take it off and you're wearing nothing underneath. Therefore, if you have a t-shirt underneath, then you can just take this off. Okay, next up I have this slightly quirky combination. I'm not too sure if it's working out exactly, but the idea is there and it's this cropped sweater vest from Culture Kings with a sage green turtleneck from Glasses and some low-rise jeans. 
In my head, it looked a bit cooler, but whatever. We're just gonna make it work. You guys get the gist. Maybe it'll look cool if my headphones on. This is kind of a look, but I guess if that didn't work out, turtleneck and jeans always does the trick. This next outfit, I threw in some high waisted jeans for those of you who prefer high waisted. They're from Supre, and also Supre is doing super well right now. They also apparently do really good skins and dupes for like a very affordable price. I'm yet to try, so I don't really have an opinion on that. But it's popping off on TikTok and it's making me want to try them out. I have the original skims top on right here. And then this jacket. I really love it. I think it's so cute. Just like the cream tones and the little fluffy bit. Oof, she's back to blue again. But I've also realized throughout this entire video, I've been doing really light colored outfits. And I don't have a single black outfit, which is so unlike me because black is so easy to style. So here I am with a bit of a black, dark arrived fit. I've got these pants there from Depop by this brand called Face Off. They're vintage. I was going through a Depop phase and like a vintage phase like a couple years ago. And I still love it because it's like so unique. Anyway, this top is from Glassins and then this blazer is leather from an op shop. I know, it was such a good steal as well. Like I got it for $20, something along those lines. This is more like a like, dressier outfit for uni, I'm gonna say. What is with these airplanes? They keep flying above my house today. Like, is it airplane day or something? Next up, I've got the super famous lioness green cargoes on and then a plain white turtleneck. This is really cool. Again, it's incorporating some color, but it's still keeping it quite basic. Lioness came out with like so many more colors of these pants. There's like blue and beige and black and stuff. For me, the green is just so iconic, but let me know what your favorite color of these jeans are down below. They're low waisted so that is why I absolutely froth them because they're so comfy and they have huge pockets so I can just slip my mic in one and my airpods in the other. My final outfit is this neutral beige toned one. I don't know what it is about beige tones this year. It's really getting to me and I really love creating that kind of like coloured schemed outfit. I want to say this is my favorite outfit throughout the whole video, but let me know down in the comments below which one's yours. Anyway, these pants, they're the Dickies 874 that I folded down because I love it folded down and it's just like really cool. Like, look at this. And then I've got this really nice turtleneck, kind of like racer cropped tank from Glassons. It's a fine knit one. Really flaring on too. And then to keep nice and warm, I've got the puffer from Glassons as well. And with this final outfit brings the end of my YouTube video. I really hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think of the outfits I created. Make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!